Hey guys and welcome back to the garden. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Blanca. You guys, today's video is going to be super, super quick. Um, I just wanted to come out here and show you guys some brand new spikes. Some orchids that are spiking that I am so, so, so excited for because they never spike for me and they're spiking. Um, so like I said, it's going to be a quick one. I have to run to work. It's like 9 a.m. <laughs> And I am gonna be late today, but I wanted to come out here and um, and just show you guys. All right, so I'm gonna start off with this one right here. So my Shamburkia, you guys, I moved them from my big um, oak tree because if you remember, it's been five years since she had since she's has spikes for me, or she's never spiked for me. She, it's been five years since um, I attached her, and she's never done anything. I moved her over here uh, maybe about a month ago and i noticed this it is a flower spike so i don't want to give all the credit to um to the fact that she is here and that's why she's spiking uh because i do have to admit that when i attached her a month ago i did see a little nub and i was you know i was a little doubtful because she like i said this this orchid has never 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 spiked for me ever since i had her on my oak tree and i said you know there's no way that there's a spike in there um but you know what there was a spike in there because it's getting larger so i'm not sure if she was going to bloom for the first time on my oak tree which would have been a miracle um but she's she's gonna bloom for me now so you know, I'm very excited for that because like I said, I have never seen flowers from any of these. Um, these are the, the Schomburkias that I had on my oak tree, um, which obviously have gotten larger with time. That's the oak tree right over there where I removed her from. Um, so I have never seen what her flowers look like. So I am super, super excited to, to see this. So that was a big, a big shocker. And then I'm looking at this one and I look at my Grammatophyllums over here. <laughs> And look at this. I've got four brand new flower spikes growing from this Grammatophyllum that I have out of the pot and attached to the tree. And then my three flower spikes over here are getting bigger and I spotted a new one there. So this is a total of eight spikes coming out of my Grammatophyllum. I mean, you know, for some of you guys, eight spikes on a gramophyllum is like probably little. But for me, this is the first time that they have, you know, bloomed so much. I mean, this one has, they have bloomed before for me, maybe like once, one or two spikes um, in the past since I got them. And this one I got in 2019 um, at the Redland show, um, all of these. So either 2019 or 2018, I don't remember. Um, but it's the first time that they've ever ever given me so many spikes at once and I'm super super excited about that. There are my other um gramophy um chamberpias spikes getting huge and then I brought an orchid back to my um my terrace that again never spikes for me and there's a flower spike coming out of my encyclia. So this one came from um Jim Roberts, I forget what the name of his nursery is. I think it's Suncoast, Suncoast. And I caught this one also at Redlands a long time ago. Last time it spiked, which was right over here, she fell right on that spike and I never got to see her flowers. So this time around, I moved her and I put her under here because I am determined to see what those flowers are gonna look like. So super excited about, um, just about these new flower spikes on these on these new orchids that have either not spiked as much like my grandma phylum or never spiked at all like my chamberkia <laughs> and then my encyclia the one the one spike that i got of course it's gonna fall right on its head and break the spike so that's new these flowers are new coming from my emma van de venture and the sun is like right on my face so i'm not even sure if you can if you can see that so getting spikes on that one and then I want to show you some little flowers in my orchid section. My Sherry Baby. My Androbium Nobly over here. 
<laughs> so I was so excited. I mean, I was gonna um, make a video on Sunday, but you know, everybody was in the pool and I was like, okay, that's not happening. <laughs> and then yesterday I got tied up. So this morning I jumped out of bed because I said, I need to do, I need to show you guys what's going on out here. Still looking fabulous. My cat Leia, and she smells amazing, you guys. Oh my goodness, so, so good. And something's happening with this bud. It's probably gonna blast. But let me take you over to <laughs> over here. So you guys asked me for an update on my chilichista. So my chilichista, I did get in spike from Bangjong and very excited to see the flowers on her because I've never had, well, I do have one of these in my collection, but it's never spiked for me. And this one is getting bigger, but lo and behold, my chilichista, we've got a spike and we've got another spike forming right here. So can you believe this? This is my Chilichista Parishii. I got her about a year ago, which is um kind of the time that she needs between, I guess, spiking, because I, I don't know if she's ever spiked before, but when I, I got her from Benjong a year ago. And then when I got her, Ben mounted, mounted her on this, on this, um, this clay pot. And I've had her here ever since. And there, I was looking for the tag <laughs> and the tag is over it. So I'll show you the tag now. So that's a brand new spike on this one, which is mine. And I've had it for a year. And this is my Chilichista Parishii. And then this is the other one that I got recently, um, a few months ago. And, and here it is. Okay, so that was also like <sighs> amazing. And then I come up here. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not showing you flowers today, but I have to tell you that the excitement with these brand new buds <laughs> is crazy. So look at my Dendrobium Lindleyi. I'm not sure if the name of this one has changed, um, but it is spiking all over the place. Look at this. Look at that. And I keep these. Okay, so let me let me tell you where I keep these. So this is my orchid section if you're new here. Um, and I keep these under here, under my, my orchid section, which is all covered in trees and shade and, and a grill gazebo. So this is where they've been for a really long time. And these two have spiked and they get watered every day. I have a sprinkler system out here, um, which is not the sprinkler system that I, that I, that I love because it gets, it hits them like with full force. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a mister. I still haven't gone around to that. Um, but eventually that's um, that's what I want to get one day. So anyway, those those two are brand new spiking orchids. And then let me just show you. Now this is where I keep my anus moms, which are all blooming amazingly. Over here it smells like heaven, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so last time, last video, I showed you this one was spiking or was um was in bud and then now the little tiny flowers have already developed and these are tiny look at this and i'm not even sure if they're fragrant no i can't smell anything so these are the little flowers of the chilla trichoglottis rosia variety wherever I can see it. I, don't, I can't I can't make that out but this one is from smiley and and first time bloomer tiny tiny flowers how cute oh, they're so little I can't even get them to focus but there they are just tiny little flowers and yeah, you guys, that is what is going on here in the garden. Very excited with all of the, all of these new um, flower spikes. Oh, and here's another one. <laughs> this is my Serena O'Neill, which um, when I was doing my Spanish video, I saw it on the floor. So I had to like move it. Thank goodness I moved it over here because I would have never noticed that she is also in spike. There's two spikes. 
on my Encyclia Epicatlea. This is an Epicatlea. Serena O'Neill. So, there you go. Epi. Is she an Epicatlea? She's an Epi. <laughs> Encyclia Cordigera with an Epi Mabel Canada. All right, so that's... um. Serena O'Neill, which is gorgeous, and she is super, super fragrant. And I can't wait to show you guys all of these flowers. I mean, I know that today, all you're getting, <laughs> today, all that's new is spikes, but um, I'm a spike girl. I don't know why. I Spike, like when I see flower spikes, I mean, I'm just kidding, I'm a flower girl. But when I see spikes, I get so, so excited, especially when it's been, um, when it's a spike on an orchid that's never spiked before, wow. I mean, there's like, the it's like the best feeling ever. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I'm, like, I'm in a good mood today. So anyway, what else can I tell you? Oh, let's see my maxillaria. So yep, these flowers are growing fast. She is full, full of buds everywhere and flowers right now there's four of them that are open and i have to tell you that oh i love this one she is such a, like a summer spring bloomer which by the way it's already spring so happy spring <laughs> um she is such a summer and spring bloomer and smells just like that she smells just like a pina colada coconutty and delicious and i do have a yellow variety here i need to check on it but anyways you guys i needed to make this one um this video super super quick because like i said i'm probably gonna already be late to work um but really wanted to share with you guys those brand new those brand new um flower spikes i will bring you um of course videos of those when they when they bloom um, but in the meantime, um, that's it. Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys soon in my next video. Remember that this weekend, if you guys are local or planning to visit um, Miami or Homestead or, or anywhere in between, Ophi is having uh, an orchid show this weekend. And there's going to be amazing, amazing vendors. Um, Cruel Smith, Orchids in Bloom, Lady Vanda, and who else is going to be there? Pearl Smith, Orchids and Lady Vanda, um, Orchids and Things by Lee, like so many amazing vendors. Um, so if you guys can make it out, um, go to Ofi this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I will be passing by maybe Saturday morning, maybe Friday afternoon, just to um, just to see what they have. I won't be a vendor, but if we'll see. <laughs> it's getting busy. So it's getting really busy with my candle. So if you see me a little bit less over here is because I am starting to get busy, busy, busy. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>